What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day. Oh yes it is, because today is the day that I get to unbox this bad boy right here. This is the GTX 1080 Ti from NVIDIA. I'm covering up all the box and stuff. Uh, and uh, the embargo just lifted for the unboxing. Unfortunately, there's a second embargo that's at a later date for the performance, so too bad we won't be able to actually take this thing for a spin and check out performance. But that is soon to follow. I don't even know. I mean, I know, I know you guys are dying for that information because I am too. I Like like you see here, I have not even taken this out of the box. It's still sealed and, and everything, so I have no idea if the claims are true. But the reason why this is so exciting is because NVIDIA... Oh, funny bone. Ah! Why do they call it a funny bone? It's not even funny. They should call it an uncomfortable bone. Now, what I was gonna say before my nerve so rudely interrupted me was that this is a big deal. And, and, and the reason why is because it's a super fast video card. It's supposed to be 35% faster than a GTX 1080 out of the box, which means you haven't even overclocked the damn thing yet. Maybe you don't care about overclocking. Still, 35% faster than what you could achieve on a GTX 1080, as well as faster than a Titan X. Now, these are all claims made by the manufacturer. Of course, I have to pop it in the test, the old one of these test beds. Actually, that's a 370X, so I'd have to pop it in this test bed uh, in a week or so, or in a few days, actually, and validate those claims to see if they're actually true. But the promise on the table is very compelling, especially if you've got $700 to burn and you're looking for a high-end gaming experience. Quite frankly, it doesn't get much better than this. So why don't I just shut the hell up and start unboxing this damn thing. I'm gonna read off some basic specs. However, if you are interested in a finer detail, of, of specifications. You can check out the video that I already did at uh, NVIDIA's editor day while GDC was going on. Oh, let's just take a moment. Oh, it's got that, it's got that fresh foam smell. Ah, oh, oh, I'm just gonna bottle up this scent and sell it on eBay. Oh God. Ah, ah. Here's what looks to be some documentation, including a quick start guide. You know what's quicker than a quick start guide? Not reading it! And we've also got uh, what looks to be a display port. Display port to DVI or vice versa adapter. Aha! So if your monitor does not have the appropriate connector, then perhaps you can use this adapter to help you out. And let's just talk about the card now, because that's really, really why we're all here. Just look at how much it looks like a GTX 1080. It looks exactly the same. Oh wow, I butchered that. That is that is the worst, officially the worst unwrapping of a video card I have ever done in my life. But here it is, let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, there's, there's a little bit of plastic here. Ready for the plastic wrap? Here we go. Oh, that was all right. I, I've definitely had better, but uh, you can see we've still got the very familiar vapor chamber design. However, it has been improved under the hood a bit to deliver a bit more cooling surface um, to the GPU, which should deliver us about uh, a reduction in five degrees Celsius compared to the GTX 1080 cooler, which is nice to see. Or you can maintain the same load temperature uh, and just have a quieter acoustic profile by not having to ramp up the fan as much. Out of the box core clock frequency is 1.6 gigahertz. And if you guys remember the live demo that Nvidia gave to during their stream, they actually took the card to over two gigahertz, I believe just from GPU boost, just having the uh, proper power and thermal conditions in place was able to take the card over two gigahertz, which means they're seeing over a 400 megahertz GPU boost. That is freaking crazy. I mean, I don't know how much room is left for overclocking really, but um, if it's as much overclocking ceiling as, as something like the GTX 1080, then we could potentially be seeing 2.1 gigahertz easy and, and, and even beyond that. Now, externally, you're not gonna find many differences between this and the GTX 1080. Of course, we do have a beefed up power delivery with one six pin and one eight pin PCI connector, uh, pretty much the same as the Titan X Pascal. And uh, this card is gonna be operating at a 250 watt TDP. So we're gonna be consuming more power and perhaps creating more heat with this guy than the GTX 1080, but at 35% of a performance increase out of the box, I would probably assume that'd be the case. We've also got a very nice backplate on the back, again, very similar to what we have on the, uh, the, the 1080, uh, although it says, of course, GTX 1080 Ti instead. Externally, the only other main change that you'll find on this card is the rear I.O. You can see that NVIDIA's actually omitted the dual-link DVI connector in favor 
of additional ventilation for the rear exhaust so that way more air can actually just be blown out the back of the card and I'm pretty sure that's one of the strategies that's been put into place to help reduce this card to uh, 5 degrees Celsius over the GTX 1080 and I'm totally in favor of that I think that's a good call especially since you already do have four uh, video outputs including three DisplayPort 1.4s and an HDMI 2.0 B. Apart from that it's all the same familiar stuff folks you get two SLI fingers right here up to two-way SLI no three or four-way support unfortunately but that's to be expected from NVIDIA at this point. And then you can see here we've also got our PCIe Gen 3 by 16 connector. Look at them gold connectors. Look at that gold, yeah! Classic GeForce GTX branding that does light up green when powered on. Still waiting for an RGB version that isn't a DIY solution. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, and then what else do you want from me, people? This is pretty much it. You get a blower style fan. Um, there, are, there are screws holding the card together. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can really say about the GTX 1080 Ti for now. Again, if you wanted a bit more detail with the specifications, you can go ahead and watch the video that I posted at Editor's Day uh, where I go over the details on that but that's pretty much gonna do it for now guys I just wanted to get this video out there to show you that this is coming the review my review and my gaming benchmarks of this card are coming very soon so stay tuned be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss it and uh, also uh, toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it because that helps me as well and uh, leave your feedback in the comments below on your thoughts on this new card from Nvidia as always, you guys, I am Kyle with BitWit. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I will see y'all in the next video.